So I'm, I'm here at the trails that surround the pond at Roberts Field with Eagle Scout candidate Kenny Carr. And Kenny is working on a project over here with 13 scouts today and some adults as well. And Kenny's going to hopefully tell us what the project is all about, Kenny? Yeah, uh, the whole goal of the project is to uh, increase the accessibility of the trail. Right now it's mucky and full of uh, old pieces of wood. So we're trying to clean that out. The first day that we're doing is we clean up all the litter, getting rid of all the uh, junk that's on the trail. So uh, our next work day, we can start building and uh, start work on the walkways. Wonderful. So this is the first day of you and all the scouts here? Yep, this is the but, very first day. But you've been planning it for a long time, right? Yeah. And I've fundraising been, and yep. everything? Uh, I just finished fundraising uh, at the end of August. Uh, luckily, it went oh. very quickly. We got money. Uh, thank you to everyone who donated. Uh, yeah, we got the money it's really quick, so uh, we can start as soon as possible. But I have been planning the project since, I believe, uh, February. Since February. So it has been a while just getting uh, signatures and getting everything planned out. But it's going real quick right now. And how long do you think the project will take, Ken? Ken? Uh, since everything is all set and ready to go, I believe two work days, we could get it done. Great. So uh, it's just a matter of uh, permission slips and all that stuff. But at this point, we're ready to go. Wonderful. So it should be very quick. And once it's done, how long after that do you become an Eagle Scout? Um, wow. After you submit your project, uh, I have to do a little more paperwork um, on the finishing touches of the project review. Uh, there's questions in the packet. And then after that's done, I have to work on a few more merit badges. Once those are out of the way, uh, it will be in the package and then I'll submit it from there and go from there. So wow. I'm hoping uh, everything's set up to go, but I'm hoping by the end of the year. I by the end of this it. calendar year, yep. 2015, yep. Right? everything's in order. So wonderful. And just quickly before we go and interview some of the other scouts, could you just summarize what scouting has meant to you, what you've learned from scouting, why you've enjoyed scouting, or, Absolutely. and why you feel it's important to be an Eagle Scout? Mm -hmm. uh, I've started scouting. Uh, I went through Cub Scouts and then I went on to Boy Scouts. Uh, it's been a huge part of my life. It, it's something mm -hmm. you can't get from other programs. Uh, it's it's a way of life. You kind of it's a it's, every day you think the same way. So scouting teaches a lot of uh, manhood. It, it gets you going and it, yeah. it builds leadership um, and it just helps. I couldn't have done this project if I had no experience. So yeah. it's, it's just something that once you get into it and you keep going, it, it's, a, it's a life goal. And you, yeah. you never, once, once an Eagle Scout, you're always an Eagle Scout. Yeah. So it's something people look at and it's been a huge part of my life. So I'm Wonderful. happy to make it this far. And just from my perspective, Kenny, I've been watching you uh, lead the uh, 13 scouts today, the 12 and yourself, mm -hmm. maybe. And what a fabulous job you're doing, Kenny. Yeah. You have a good leadership skill about you, a good voice, a good demeanor. You're very good when you uh, talk to people about, would you do this and do that? Thank you. So I think you're going to be a great leader. Do you have, by the way, what do you want to be uh, eventually in your life? Or do you, have you decided yet? I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, one career that's always I've always been looking at was to be a police officer yeah, um, over great. the summer. I attended the State Police Academy and that was that was Wonderful. really fun five days um, so it is a career but I'm still I am keeping my options open in case something you know I feel like oh I'm good at this and I you know I'm open for anything really well I think with your skills and your talent uh, Ken I think you're gonna go very far and thank that. you so much for uh, choosing Roberts Field oh, no to, to do your Eagle Scout project oh, so pleasure. good luck with everything hopefully I'll be there at your uh, Eagle Scout ceremony so too. thank thank you Kenny thank you very much thanks so I'm here at Roberts Field with Kenny Carr, the Eagle Scout candidate today, and three of his Boy Scouts that are helping him with this project. I think Kenny had about 13 Scouts here today, and we have three wonderful examples of Boy Scouts. So could you tell us what you're doing here today to, to help Kenny? Well, we're here today to, um, to work on the little miss, um, the little non-use trail. Yeah. Um, we're going to try to put some boardwalks in so people can walk around here even during when there's a um, high water level so it's not like leaking into the pond where you can't use it then. Um, and um, it's really helpful because that Eagle Scout before made bridges, so that helps. Yes. And oh, then, Joe, so, uh, Joe Rosano, yeah. right? Joe Rosano. Joe Rosano did some bridges. Yeah, here. but uh, the boardwalks are going to be really nice. Nice. So you're helping Kenny out today, and and how do you like being a Boy Scout? You're all Boy Scouts, right, for a, f a year or two or three? Yeah. And uh, so, how do you like it so far? I feel as though I have a lot of fun. The troop, everyone is so friendly. I, I've been able to do stuff that I never thought I would be able to do in my life, like yeah. climb a mountain, and I've learned so much, and I encourage lots of other people to join Boy Scouts. And what troop are you in? 
77. 77, and it's headquartered in, is it St. Mary's Church is the sponsor? Yes. And wonderful. And how do you like Scouts? Did you go to camp this year? Or yes, last year? camp. Camp with Tucker was a lot of fun. It was? Yeah, you got, they had uh, two sheep there. At, and then the funny part about it is like the last day before when everybody was leaving, um, the sheep actually escaped. Really? Yes. Oh, and then you caught him? Somebody caught him? Well, yeah, somebody oh, actually Eventually? Got oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're all in uh, Eagle uh, Scouts now. Do you want to become Eagle Scouts? Definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely, yeah. So we have a fair number of Eagle Scouts from St. Mary's, right? Mm -hmm. Like quite yeah. a number. Get them out. But it's only a small percentage that become Eagle Scouts like Kenny Carr will be, right? Yeah. 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 Hey, Kenny, uh, did you want to thank all of your workers and everybody who helped out? Yeah, we you had got? a great turnout today, and I'm so helpful to have you. I'm so happy to have you guys here, and you're hard workers, so I couldn't have done it without you guys, and I appreciate all your help taking time off from Saturday. So thank you very much. You know, thanks again. Hopefully you'll be here for the next build day. And it was great. We had perfect weather today, and hopefully it'll be perfect weather when Kenny gets his Eagle Scout Award as well. Hopefully I could be there at the Court of Honor or whatever, because uh, it'll be great to see you, Kenny, doing that. I think you're going to do a great job, not only as a scout, but in life itself and in, in the military and college. Thank you. So, and thank you for allowing us to be part of your uh, project here today. Oh, my pleasure. I'm happy to have you guys here. So, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, no Kenny. problem.